I'd like to talk about the comprehensive analysis. It's preloaded into your uh, tests, and the comprehensive uh, is designed to look at the causal chain issues. And let me explain the causal chain a little bit to you. Uh, another way to think of the causal chain is what are the issues that are causing the most disresonance in the body. And when we test for the causal chain, it's fairly simple. If you see here, we've got these check boxes for single and one by one. None of them are checked. We let the body go through these filters in a pass-fail methodology. As long as they pass the test, it keeps moving. If they fail, it's because of a causal issue or something in there is causing a great disturbance in the body. Now, many of the other tests are outside the causal chain, and I'll explain those as we get to them. And when they're outside the causal chain, we're just asking the body which of these, if any, are causing any disturbance what, whatsoever. Another way to think of uh, causal chain is uh, possibly plane turbulence. Many of us have been on planes where the captain calls back and says, buckle up, and all of a sudden you're thrown right and left and up and down and going all over the place. That would be a most disresonant or a causal issue Whereas sometimes as we're going along, we just hit little turbulence and, and shakes it up. And that would be less disresonance or any disresonance. And so that's the difference between causal with the comprehensive and a myriad of the other tests. So if we go into the comprehensive, what I'd like to do is review a little bit of each filters and what they're designed to do. So obviously, the first test you can see here is allergen sensitivities. If they pass this test, it moves on. If they fail the test, you can see it will load up different remedies associated with different uh, environmental allergens. And the same is true for all the other tests. The antibody disturbance, if they fail this, it will give you some information on IgA, D, E, F, G, and it will give you an insight to whether it's viral, whether it's bacterial, whether it's food, whether it's environmental. And the bacterial signatures, if they fail this test, it loads up numerous bacteria and the body will show you which one it needs to rectify. The bioavailability uh, relates to how the body can absorb nutrients. Sometimes they're there, but they're not bioavailable. They're not in a form that the body can utilize. This will help with those absorption issues. The cell permeability, um, obviously relates to issues of getting remedies, nutrients through the cellular membrane and all of these will have descriptions and all of these help strengthen that process of moving uh, items through the cell membranes. You can see the cell salt in balance, the 12 tissue salts also help uh, with the osmotic pressure and moving things at a cellular level as well as if you look at the homeopathic materia medica, uh, they have some greater influences as well. The chakras, and if we look at the chakras, sometimes the chakras would be out, and if this shows an issue, it'll show you which chakra, and it's kind of fun because if you look at the chakras with other technology, uh, they look like a uh, major highway intersection, and you can see where a lot of the energy runs through the body in the chakras and they can have emotional uh, as well as physiological tie-ins. The chemical toxicity is pretty straightforward. It deals with chemicals that we run into in the environment. Chemical toxicity too, you'll notice, is set up to detox specific categories and these categories uh, detox uh, pharmaceuticals if there's uh, residue left, uh, over-the-counter remedies, or recreational. It'll detox all three. And the chromosomal SAR code, you'll want to become familiar with the term SAR code. That's a homeopathic term for optimum blueprint. Often the chromosomes, the DNA or the RNA, are weakened through oxidative issues. And if they're weakened, and it shows up one of these chromosome needs to be strengthened. This is the optimum blueprint and it'll instruct the body to start making chromosomes in this format rather than reproducing the damaged patterns. And that's what chromosomes are, is an optimum blueprint. 
and you'll see we have chromosomes for male and female. And when you run the, uh, on the demographics, if you select male, obviously the female test will disappear and vice versa. We've got uh, remedies for circulation and color filters. Now colors are really interesting. Colors all have a frequency and if the body can't process that frequency of red or green or yellow, you can actually get physiological symptoms. Uh, colors would be in the family of an altered immune response, therefore they, they consider them in the allergy field. And we, uh, constitutional weakness, we talk about in another video, so I'll go over that one. Dental disturbance, we also will cover in another video. Dietary concerns, and this one is really unique, it will come up and tell you the diet plan uh, that will be best for you at this time. Even though you'll see uh, type A, type B, type O, or AB, a lot of these were originally based on blood chemistry. Uh, an example is my blood chemistry is A positive. I've actually tried the A diet and I got very sick on it. Retested myself or tested myself on the equipment and the B diet came up which is a higher protein diet. So what's unique about this is it looks energetically what is the best diet for your body whether you have that blood chemistry or not and it fine tunes it to you as an individual. Now digestive maladies uh, we'll cover a little bit later and drainage block uh, this is items and remedies uh, oftentimes there's toxins lodged in the tissues in the drainage organs that have started to block their capacities. This will help open up those pathways and help the eliminatory system uh, rectify itself. The electrolyte disturbance is pretty straightforward. It looks to see if there's any imbalances uh, with the salts. A lot of them are from our diets. Uh, fatty tissue disturbance is remedies that help with the fatty tissues and toxins that lodge in those areas. The food additives are a detox for a lot of common uh, compounds that are put in foods. The food sensitivities list we'll go into later but that has uh, this one has uh, the categories instead of all the individual foods and we'll go into all the individual foods and how we look at those a little bit later. The fungal signatures is a no sewed and anosote is a homeopathic term for any pathogen. And if you fail this test, it'll load up 327 fungi. Let your body show us which one it has the issue with and needs to correct. The genomes is straightforward. The RNA, the DNA, the PNA. Geopathic stress is a unique, unique one. Geopathic stress comes from naturally created or man-created man fields of energy. If you'll notice, aqueducts, as they run under, can cause electromagnetic fields that an individual may respond adversely to. Um, earth fields, there's actually grids, electromagnetic grids in the earth, and some people are sensitive to those. Uh, the electromagnetic is mainly man-made energies, lights, computers, uh, mineral deposits, uh, different irons have an electromagnetic capability and can alter function in the body. And of course, power lines, uh, whether they're overhead or underground, create a field of energy uh, that may or may not be harmful to an individual, and this test would indicate that. Harmful energies, you can see we go into more of the man-made, the microwaves, the radioactive uh, issues, radon gas that accumulates in basements. And heavy metal burden is straightforward. That's the heavy metals. If you want to view any of these, you can click on the folder to expand it and see what's underneath uh, that issue or filter. Homeopathic Similium contains all 1400 homeopathic remedies that you can use a Materia Medica to reference and we'll talk about reference material in another video. Hormones are pretty straightforward. It includes all the hormones as well as some of the glands that are responsible uh, for the function in the system. We also have if you're a pharmacist and want to give bioidentical hormones, we can identify the ones uh, that would be of most value to the individual. Immune function, we've got a number of uh, remedies that help bolster different aspects and functions of the immune system. Inflammatory issues, 
Uh, these are remedies that help uh, bring down inflammation in the body. And the Lyme disturbance is all the Borrelia family of bacterias. And you'll notice we have Lyme 2 and Lyme 3. These are opportunistic pathogens that will often show up once they've had the Lyme and it's compromised the immune function of the body. Mental or emotional stress, this is the Bach flowers, the bush flowers, and the North American flowers. The meridians, we can actually look to see if those energetic pathways in and of themselves are not functioning at optimum values. Metabolic disruption uh, deals a lot with remedies and pathways that deal with the entire metabolic process. Um, mesenchyme, mesenchyme is quite unique. Mesenchyme currently is being referred to as brain stem cell research where they can take uh, some of those brain stem cells and program them to grow a liver, grow a kidney. The body produces these naturally and in damaged organs it will move some of these cells towards that area and program them to become that tissue in a healthy format. Miasms we'll discuss a little bit later. They deal with inherited predispositions. Musculoskeletal weakness is pretty straightforward. That goes with remedies with that system. Uh, mycoplasma and molecytes, that is a, uh, another pathogen or no sowed family. Mycotoxins, mycotoxins are toxins that are excreted by pathogens while they're in your body. And if there's enough of a buildup, uh, they can create a form of chemical toxicity and this will help flush those, uh, those items out of the body. Neurological imbalance. Uh, this is all the neurotransmitters, and we'll cover this in another test. Uh, Nonvertebral misalignment. Uh, this deals with er other physiological areas, uh, joints in the body, uh, that may be out of alignment and need some work with physical therapy. Oxidative stress deals with the, uh, how the body responds in the environment and the, we've all heard of antioxidants that protect us against a bunch of these hum, harmful uh, items in the environment, and this can evaluate that. Uh, parasite, uh, again, is just the no sowed family. Uh, parasympathetic disturbance, uh, this looks at the uh, parasympathetic system and how it's regulating the different systems in the body. And phenolics, we'll talk a little bit about uh, later in the allergy sensitivity profile. Uh, but they are in that family. And pH is pretty straightforward. And polarity, all the uh, cells in the body, the electrons as they spin, have a rate and a direction that they should be going. If they're not moving that angle, rate, or direction, the polarity will be off, uh, causing basically communication issues in the body. And if the communication isn't working right, if you give them a homeopathic, nothing will happen because their body can't process the information. And so we can look at that in the comprehensive visit as well. And the prions, the prions are in uh, the pathogen or no sowed family. They're the new hybrid pathogens. Most of us are familiar with mad cow disease. And a lot of these are in that family. And they come in two states. One's an inactive state and one's an active state. With the technology, we can't determine if they're active or inactive. We can just determine if they're there or not. And a lot of times they'll show up on me, believe it or not, the ones for mad cow disease. I'm a fairly large uh, advocate of uh, eating proteins because I work out. And it'll show up on me about every three to four months. The homeopathic will stimulate my immune system to go in and destroy that pathogen and remove it from my body before it starts creating any issues. The protozoa is also in the no soda pathogen family. The respiratory distress filter is self-explanatory remedies that help uh, with that aspect of the body. And we do have uh, strengtheners for different uh, SAR codes or optimum patterns or blueprints for systems in the body. And we have a list of SAR codes and we'll show you that in another test, how we can go in and fine tune in detail where the body really needs to uh, restructure and rebuild the tissues. The skin afflictions uh, is straightforward. It's remedies uh, that help with the skin. The sleep, remedies for sleep. Sympathetic disturbance. These are uh, 
remedies that help with the sympathetic system to see if it's functioning at optimum values. Uh, TMJ stress, we'll put this in another test and show you that. These are all the muscles that deal with the uh, temporomandibular joint. Uh, thyroid disturbance, remedies for the thyroid as well as T1, T2, T3, T4, the natural hormones uh, that the thyroid produces. Trace mineral malabsorption is a really interesting one. If this one comes up, it indicates that they're not deficient in it. Their body's just not absorbing it correctly. It doesn't understand how to use those trace elements. And if this shows up when we imprint it, it'll basically instruct the body how to recognize and absorb these nutrients. And if you're deficient in these, they all have specific symptoms uh, that uh, you will notice in the description field. The urinary disorders is a filter that helps uh, find remedies for the urinary system. Uh, this is a vaccination disturbance. Sometimes the immunizations are a little bit too strong and they can leave a toxic residue. This will clear that out so it's not altering immune function, but it will not de-immunize the patient. It just clears out the toxic residue. The vertebral misalignment we'll cover in another video. The virus signatures, obviously, the renosote or the pathogen family. Uh, remedies for the female, remedies for the male, remedies for anti-aging, and remedies for children. We also look generically at to see if there's any gross deficiencies uh, with any nutrients. And as these come up, if a specific fatty acid comes up, you can grab a product that you have and test it on the test plate to see if it will be of value. And so again, this is the basic premise of the comprehensive, is that it's looking for the most disresonant issues in the body. Whereas all the other subtests are looking for any disresonance whatsoever, whether it's very small or it's very great, whether it's symptomatic or it's just a disturbance. And this is the comprehensive protocol.